y'all it's your girl toya i am your favorite travel agent as well as your favorite carnival cruise specialist okay so real quick we're gonna go ahead and get into three things as to why you should leave for your cruise at least 24 hours in advance check it out All right, so reason number one that you should leave for your cruise 24 hours in advance is because that cruise boat, I'm telling you guys, is not going to wait for you, okay? So if you do not stay in the city that the cruise ship is departing from and you have to travel hours away, whether you're driving or you have to travel hours away, whether you're catching a train or flying, it is strictly important to leave at least 24 hours because if anything happens whether that's something to you the people that you're going with or even something that's happening with your transportation if your flight gets delayed if your flight gets canceled then how are you going to get to your cruise ship in time i see tons and tons of people in different um like group chats and things and stuff that i'm in that say, oh my gosh, my flight got canceled. Oh, I'm not going to make it in time. What do I do? And at that point, it's very limited to anything that you can do. Because like I said, I mean, you could try. You could call Carnival. You could say, hey, I'm running late. Just like if you were getting on a flight. If you are not there on time, it's not a 100% guarantee that that flight is going to wait specifically for you. They may wait 5, 10, 15 minutes here and there, but when they have to go, they have to go because they can't risk waiting for one, two, three people when everybody else is there on time, everybody else is on the boat, and they're ready to go. So it's very, very, very important to leave a day early because like I said, things with tra with transportation, literally anything could happen and you paid your money for your cruise, okay? You paid money for your cruise. You paid money to go on your vacation. So why not have the most fun, the best time that you can have, but you just got to make sure that, you know, of course that you're there on time. Which also brings me into the, the second reason as to why you should travel at least 24 hours. is because you want to just enjoy the time. You want to enjoy the time to get to your cruise. Enjoy the time of getting on the boat. And then being able to have enough time to just explore the ship the very first day that you are on the boat. Versus being so tired because you've been trying to travel the exact same day that your cruise leaves. Typically, we'll get a hotel room. I would get a hotel room. I would stay in that hotel for only one night. And then in the morning when I wake up, I go ahead and I go to, to my cruise. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little secret, okay? So, in addition to that, I typically try to find a hotel that offers a shuttle, which is going to take me back to the airport the very next day. So, I stay in the hotel for one night. Then the shuttle is going to take me back to the airport on the second day, which is now the day that my cruise leaves. The reason being is because Carnival has this thing where a Carnival bus is similar to like a Greyhound bus that basically will take you from the airport to the cruise shuttle. Okay. And I personally find that convenient. Why? Because literally I don't have to do anything. So my shuttle is literally down where the baggage claims is. And basically the people are already there. You tell them, hey, I'm here for a carnival cruise. And they sign you in, they give you a ticket. And it's multiple buses because there's different time slots that you have to sign up for to say, hey, I want to catch the bus at 10 o'clock or I want to catch the bus at 11 o'clock. And I want to say, don't quote me, but they do travel back and forth from the airport to the cruise port, maybe within 30 to uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and so once I do have my luggage, but when it's time for them to call my group, everybody that's in my group, we all line up. They all take us outside. They say, hey, put your luggage here. They literally will put our luggage underneath the, you know, like the bus where you can put your luggage and stuff at. They will take you from the airport of Miami to the actual Miami cruise port. Also, if you are flying into Fort Lauderdale and you get a hotel in Fort Lauderdale and you find a way to go back to Fort Lauderdale's airport, the Carnival bus will also pick you up, pick you up from Fort Lauderdale's airport and take you to Miami cruise port because I have personally done that myself as well. Which I totally like, 
um, because you don't have to try to figure out, you know, hey, can I get an Uber? Can I get a Lyft? You got to make sure it's going to accommodate your group if you traveling with more than one person you got to make sure that your luggage fits in the car i try to avoid all of that sure that you are at that airport on time because again if you they say hey they're going to be there at 10 and you get there at 10 15 or you get there at 10 30 again that carnival bus is not going to wait for you so some people may say oh that's okay i, mean, I can just hop on the next bus that's coming at 11 o'clock well if there's room because if those that signed up for the 11 o'clock spot and they're all full and there's no additional room for you to get on that 11 o'clock bus then you're SOL again so the the key thing is just to always make sure that you are on time and then the last and third reason in reference to why you should leave 24 hours is y'all because it's stress free if you want to leave 48 hours before your cruise, stress-free. And when I say stress-free, the only thing I'm meaning is that you're not rushing. You're not rushing to literally pack your bags, get on your next flight, get on a train, drive, however many hours you have to get to your cruise port. Let's just say your flight does get canceled. Okay, it may get canceled, but you may leave later on that day. So then you still have a whole nother day where you can kind of just rest and chill. And then the day of your cruise, you're hyped. You're ready to go. When you get on that cruise boat, Baby, you about to be having drinks and everything that's on Lido deck, like all that good stuff. Like you're literally getting ready to have a good time versus feeling so, you know, draggy because you've been up since four or five o'clock that morning just trying to get to your cruise port. It's getting ready to leave probably at what, maybe four or five o'clock, depending on where, you, where you're leaving from. Just a little nugget, a little tip um, in reference to, you know, leaving at least 24 hours before your cruise just ensuring that you are directly on time with everything and then three like i said it also makes things stressless set yourself up for success to allow additional time to do those things in case something does happen i would just hate you know for you guys to pay your money on a cruise because let's be honest cruises are not cheap and so if i'm spending my hard earned money to go on a trip, I want to make sure that I have all the time that I deserve. I want no time less, no time taken away from me. I want to ensure that I have enough time and the time that I deserve and carved out for this trip to be able to enjoy myself fully. Again, yes, I am a travel agent. I am also a carnival expert okay so i specialize in carnival cruise lines so if you are one that has never been on a cruise before if you're one that always says you know hey yes i love you know i would love to take a cruise i don't know how to get started i don't know where to go i don't know where to leave from i don't know how all of this works somebody help me or at least point me in the right direction i'm your girl for it okay let me know contact me you can go to my website um you can and fill out my travel form you can connect with me here on youtube you can also connect with me on all of my social media platforms so please make sure that you also subscribe to my channel also subscribe to and like our videos any comments share 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 make sure you also click the bell for any time um that i do go live and post different videos so you can get those notifications and things of that sort, okay? Other than that, I will see y'all in the next video where we talk more about Carnival Cruise Lines.